Welcome back. Today, we're gonna make this happen. Not really sure what this is, but if you wanna learn how to do it, watch this video and you can do this too. Wow. This kind of eye glitch effect you see here that's kind of inspired by this Snapchat sort of uh, face filter, face effects that kind of follow you around in real time. So in order to do this, we're going to use OpenCV to open up our webcam and give us a raw image frame. Uh, we're going to then resize that into a smaller resolution. So if I were to try running this directly from my webcam, it would take up this entire screen and I would only get a couple frames per second. So it'd be really slow. So we're gonna resize that video down and then we're gonna pass that video into a library called Dlib. So Dlib is a machine learning framework. Um, it kind of has a lot of pre-built um, face detectors and then more importantly, um, position detector. So it's going to detect uh, a line around our face for where our lips, our eyes, our nose, and our mouth are. Um, so we're going to first detect the face. We're going to get a rectangle around the face using Dlib. And then we're going to use this um, model, this Dlib model, to detect the face orientation and get 68 points that determine the outline of the eyes, eyebrows, nose, and mouth. Um, from that, we're going to extract just the left and right eye, and then we're going to create a mask of the eyes. So we're just going to copy out what's inside of the eyes here, and then we're going to add the current position of our eye to the, uh, a list of the previous n. So when I say n, that's a variable. So it could be 10, it could be 15, whatever we set it to. And then we're going to draw all those previous locations, and we're going to finish our drawing at the last position. So the oldest position our eyes was out of that end. And then finally, we're gonna display it. So with that, let's jump into building this. Um, first thing we'll do is we'll need to get both our libraries downloaded, Dlib and OpenCV, and then also get this um, Dlib model downloaded. So let's, let's walk through that. Um, I have Visual Studio Code open here. Uh, if I've already have created a new file called iGlitch. It's totally empty. Um, and I have this shape64face.dat. So let's let's look at how you get those. So dlib is at dlib.net. And this again is our machine learning library we're gonna use to extract the faces and then find the face uh, position. So this face pose comes from this uh, post and this model created in 2014. And so we're going to get a set of points that's going to show the outline of the eyes, the outline of the chin, and then, like I said, this, this mouth and face. And you can download these files from dlib-models on GitHub. I'll put a link in the, on the video and the post. And then next, we're going to use OpenCV to take in our webcam images frames and then manipulate them. So dlib is really easily installed for Python using just pip. So it's just a pip install. Uh, OpenCV, you're going to, if you're on Mac, you probably want to use Homebrew. There's a really great post on Pi Image Search about installing OpenCV3 with Mac OS. It can be kind of a, a really long process and maybe even a video in its own uh, right to install OpenCV. But if you try this, it should work for you. All right, cool. Let's jump into those commands to get these things installed. Um, we'll start with pip three install dlib and of course I've already got installed and then we'll do a brew install opencv3 and so homebrew is a package manager for OS Mac OS and you can use it to install things from source it's pretty sweet program and then finally there's one more library we'll use um, it's called imutils and we're going to use that to translate some of the outputs from dlib into things that uh, OpenCV and NumPy can read. All right, that being said, let's get started. 
the first thing I'm going to want to do is build an argument parser to take in this uh, shape 68 face dot dat. And again, you can, um, I should probably clarify this. So on this DLib model, the one that we want is the 68 face landmarks. Um, you're going to download and unzip it, and it's going to create a file. And so I already did that, and I just renamed it to be shape 68 face dot dat. Okay. So let's let's take an argument parser, so import arg parse, right, and then parser equals dot argument parser. And so the very first thing we're going to do is just take in our predictor, um, and that's what this is called. This is called a predictor. This is a shape 68 predictor because it's just predicting the places where it thinks our um, face is oriented. predictor and then we're going to say it is required because we can't run this program without it well we can now but you'll see what I mean uh, path to predictor and then next we need to parse the arguments into a new variable so it would be parser.parse args and then let's just print this and make sure that we've got our um, argument parts are working. So let's do that. So Python 3 and then i dash glitch dot pi. And it says the following requirements are required. The following arguments are required predictor. So let's add the predictor. And then the name of our file is shape 68 face. So we have it. Next, let's. Um, Let's open up the webcam and resize the video stream so that we can see it in pretty high resolution. So let's do that now. Um, we're going to, of course, import OpenCV. And the way you import OpenCV is import CV2. It's kind of got a pretty different name from what you would expect. And then we're going to also use IMUtils video stream. Uh, this is really convenient because it um, creates a video stream on its own thread. And then we're going to also import a few other uh, things from IMUtils that we can do now. We're going to import faceUtils, which again is going to translate the output from DLib into something that we can use in uh, NumPy and OpenCV. Then we're going to also import translate. And so translate is going to be how we're going to translate the current image of our eyes to the previous position that it was. And then finally, we're going to do resize. And resize is what's going to allow us to resize the frame of our video to something smaller so that it'll run faster on our computer and it'll run in real time. All right, let's also import time because we're going to need to sleep our computer. Um, cool. So the way you open up a video stream is you do vs equals video stream dot start and then we're going to sleep this time so time dot sleep let's do one and a half seconds for so this is while our webcam opens we don't want to start reading something that's not there because it'll crash our program immediately next let's create a, a while loop that just runs so while true frame equals bs dot read so we're going to read the frame from that thread and then we're going to do a frame equals resize. So we're going to resize that frame to, let's do 800 pixels wide. All right, now we can do a cv2.im show, and we'll call it iGlitch, and then we'll pass in the frame. And then next, we have to have a way of quitting or breaking out of this loop. So we'll take in a key from the keyboard, and the way we do that is with a cv2.wait key, and then we'll do, and then we can do if key equals ord q break, and that will break us out of this while true loop 
Then if we're out of here, we can do a cv2.destroy. Destroy all windows. And then a vs.stop. Let's try running that. Oh, we don't want to do that. We want to do a from imutils import base utils, etc. So now if we look, there's our video stream. And you can see it's the same webcam I'm already using here on the bottom corner to show you my video. So I've hit Q, it quits. So now we got our video stream. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to import dlib. So let's do that now. And import dlib, and then not diflib, dlib. And then let's also, while we're here, import numpy as np. All right. So we need to get a face detector. And so dlib has this built right in. Let's set um, detector, detector equals dlib.get frontal face detector. All right, so this is going to give us a frontal face detector. So this only detects our faces when we're facing toward the camera. It's not going to tell when we're sideways like that. All right, so this frontal face detector actually requires a grayscale version. So not a color image, a gray image. So the way that we create a gray image is we do a cv2 dot cvt color with our frame, our resize frame. It's very important that it happens after this resize if we want to keep it real time. cv2 dot color underscore bgr to gray. All right. And so from that, we can now pass um, the gray image to our detector so and get back a set of rectangles. Equals detector. And let's do the gray. And then zero. So with that, we now have a set of rectangles. So this will determine more than one face in a video frame or an image. So we're going to do four rectangle in those recs. Because it's just me, there's only going to be one rectangle, right? So there's only going to be one face in the frame. But if there was more than one face in the frame, we'd want to be able to see it. So let's just make a rectangle of that um, face that it detects so that we can see where it's detecting a, a face. So the way that we do that is we're going to do x, y, width, and height equal face utils dot rect to underscore bounding box and then we're going to pass in our rectangle with that we can do a cv2 and draw a rectangle we're going to draw it onto the frame with the from the x and the y position and then we're going to draw it to the x plus width y plus height position and then we're going to draw it with a color i'm going to do 255 128 0 i just made up that number um, and then we're going to do a width for that frame so i'm going to do two pixels wide let's try running this now okay name gray is not defined it's because i did the english and the british version of gray All right, so there we go. And one interesting thing to note is that most of my other code is using red, green, blue. However, uh, OpenCV uses blue, green, red. So it can be a little bit confusing um, if you're working with multiple things. So you can tr see how it tracks in real time, where my face is, where it goes. Um, from this, we're gonna pass in just the square around my face to the detector we had. So let's jump into that now and see what that looks like. So we have the face detector. Now we're gonna to need to create a predictor, so the shape predictor. So predictor is gonna get made outside of our uh, face detector. I mean, outside of our loop. So dlib 
dot shape predictor and then we're going to pass in our ours dot predictor right make sure that runs and then we're going to pass these rectangles into our shape predictors so we're going to do a shape equals predictor with our gray scale image again and then our rectangle and then we're going to use this uh, face utils again to transform the dlib output which is going to be like a top left right um, sort of thing into a numpy array so we're going to do shape equals face underscore utils dot shape to np the shape and then we can for um, i in uh, shape let's draw out all of those positions all of those markers Um, we'll draw circles at each one of them. CV2 dot circle the frame and then a tuple of the eye. Actually, let's set eye to be a point because that's really what we're looking at. We're looking at 68 points, right? So for point and shape, tuple of the point and then a size for the circle. We'll do two. And then we need a color. So let's do 128, 255, 0. And that should be it. And now you can see where each one of those um, detectors gets itself from. So we've got our facial landmarks coming in now, too. So, actually, let's run that one more time. So our, our points here, we have 68 points that make up the face. What we only care about are the ones that start here, one, two, three, four, all around this left eye, and then the ones over here all around the right eye. So you can look up online which line set determines which one, but the way it works is the left frame, the left eye, is the set of points from 36 to 42 in the list, and then the right eye is the set of 48 to, or 42 to 48. So 36 to 42, wait, it's reversed for me in the video. 36 to 42, and then 42 to 48. So let's just copy out just those two. Um, so we could do that with array slicing in NumPy, and do. Um, 36 to 48. So that should just be the left and right eye. And let's, while we're here, let's um, comment out this rectangle. It's making it a little bit difficult to see. All right, so with that, you can see we have just the shape of the eyes now. We've successfully extracted um, our eyes from the video in real time.